सो अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट ट्रू अबाउट द बैरेट इसोफेगस राइट सो रिगार्डिंग द बैरेट इसोफेगस द ऑप्शन आर बेसिकली इट कॉजेज एडिनो कार्सिनोमा ऑप्शन बी इज पेप्टिकल सर ऑप्शन सी पैरा इसोफेजियल हार्निया एंड ऑप्शन डी इज द मेटा प्लाशियम ओके हेयर टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन यू नीड टू नो फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स रिगार्डिंग द बेरेट इसोफेगस let's see that okay so beret esophagus is basically an pathological changes that we encounter in case of lower esophageal area so what exactly happens is that due to the reflux so the reflux is basically there is a regurgitation or there is a reflux of the gastric or content into the lower esophagus so that will eventually leads to irritation of the lower esophageal mucosa and that is uh, happen due to the long standing grd cases so it's most commonly happen due to the long standing grd and that happens due to the chronic exposure of the esophageal epithelium to the gastric acid and here exactly what happens is that the lower portion of the esophagus is basically lined by the stratified squamous epithelium due to the exposure due to the chronic exposure of the uh, gastric content so there is a metaplasia that happens and that stratified squamous epithelium is basically replaced by the intestinal type of mucosa which is also known as what intestinal metaplasia right so this stratified squamous epithelium is basically replaced by columnar epithelium okay which is basically seen in the entire intestine and these columnar epithelium uh, there is a presence of the uh, mucin secreting goblet cells which is basically an pathognomic features mucin secreting goblet cells which is basically an pathognomic uh, features of this metaplasia so the, they are basically replaced by the non ciliated mu Uh, mucin secreting columnar epithelium it's uh, basically an adaptation and it's an defensive adaptation by the lower esophageal mucosa now we can classify this barret esophagus into three so there is a long segment there is a short segment and there is a cardiac uh, a barrets right so your long segments are basically when the length when the length of the barrett segment is more than 3 cm it is basically known as the long segment barrett's when the length is basically less than 3 cm it is your short segment barrett and then comes the cardiac barrett uh, uh, then comes the cardiac uh, barrett's esophagus which is not seen in the naked eye typically uh, you are uh, typically we are able to uh, appreciate that in the histology only so they are uh, being appreciated on the histology only and to identify this kind of uh, barrett we need to go for the chromoendoscopy or there is a narrow band imaging it, these are the modern day technique which will basically increases the efficacy of endoscopic evaluation but your long segment and the short segment one they are basically pretty much well visible in the endoscopy right pretty much well visible in the endoscopy <clears throat> so typically in the endoscopy what you are able to see so there is a so there is a salmon colored mucosa that will eventually projecting into the esophagus from the gastroesophageal junction so there is a gastroesophageal junction and from the gastroesophageal junction there is a salmon color patch up mucosa you were able to see during the endoscopy so obviously as i have mentioned histologically they are the intestinal type of non ciliated columnar epithelium and there is a presence of goblet cell which is typically being the pathognomic one so in this image you can able to appreciate that so this is your normal mucosa right so uh, this is the normal mucosa Uh, this is how it looks but this one you can see that i am try to underline that so this one is your barrett esophagus right so it's typically seen as a salmon color patch salmon color patch so why it happens uh, due to the uh, as uh, 
there is a reflux of the gastric content into the lower esophagus as a result of chronic exposure of the gastric content there is a uh, adaptive metaplasia that we can see okay so while doing the endoscopic procedure you also need to take the biopsy here so for uh, taking the biopsy there is a one protocol that has been there that is known as the settles protocol that is known as a settles protocol please do remember this name okay also the settle protocols uh, basically saying that you need to take four quadrant biopsy and that is every two centimeter in the uh, barrett segment so your settles protocol is take the four quadrant uh, a biopsy in every two centimeter in barrett segment okay and after uh, taking the biopsy the reporting has to be followed according to the prags criteria so the reporting has to be followed according to the prags criteria so it basically says there is a two denomination one is the c that is the circumferential extent so the circumferential extent is supposed to be informed and there is a m m for maximal extent of the Barrett's epithelium is supposed to be mentioned in the reporting system of the endoscopy okay now one thing is that obviously there is a chance of the malignancy because as a result of the intestinal metaplasia there is a formation of the low grade dysplasia and that low grade uh, dysplasia leads to development of the subsequent high grade dysplasia and finally development of the adenocarcinoma finally there is a development of the adenocarcinoma as a result of this okay so obviously you have your medical therapy uh, you need to go for the um, high dose of the ppi and that is to just to suppress the gastric acid and the inflammation but uh, apart from that your endoscopic surveillance is there so what uh, the protocol has been uh, suggested that in case of non dysplastic barrett you must do the endoscopic surveillance every 3 to 5 years every 3 to 5 years but in case of low grade dysplasia you need to go for every 6 to 12 months low grade dysplasia but in case of high grade one you need to do the endoscopic surveillance every three months or you can go for ablation or resection therapy and uh, one thing that i would like to highlight is that in case of low grade dysplasia you can also go for ablation therapy and obviously there is a uh, endoscope that ablation therapy is basically done through endoscopic procedure so there is your radio frequency ablation is there also there is a endoscopic mucosal resection is there which is not uh, uh, commonly done but obviously it's there also there is a photodynamic therapy which is basically an argon based laser pla uh, uh, plasma coagulation procedure okay so one thing that i would like to highlight is that regarding the radio frequency ablation it's a preferred one why because this radio this ablation procedure is associated with less stricture risk so there is a less chances of development of the stricture in these cases okay so these are the preferred one and there is a lower uh, stricture risk is there right so it's a non dysplastic one there is a low grade and there is a high grade so it can be treated with a rfa endoscopic mucosal resection and the photodynamic therapy here your answer would be which of the following is not true about the barrett esophagus means which of the following is a false statement regarding the barrett esophagus so they are basically asking for false statements right false statement so in the first statement they basically causes adenocarcinoma is it a true and false yes it's a true statement then option b it's basically associated with the peptic ulcer. Yes, again it's seen. Then comes paraesophageal hernia. It's basically uh, ex extremely sorry, extremely sorry. Please do edit this portion. Okay. So uh, the next option is the peptic ulcer. Look, your Barrett esophagus is not associated with a peptic ulcer. You need to un you need to understand that. So your Barrett esophagus is not associated with a peptic ulcer. So it is a false statement. 
ओके देन कम्स द पैरा इसोफेजियल हार्निया येस पैरा इसोफेजियल हार्निया इज एसोसिएटेड विथ जी आर डी राइट सो इट इज एसोसिएटेड विद जी आर डी एंड दैट जी आर डी विल इवेंचुअली लीड्स टू डेवलपमेंट ऑफ बेरेट इसोफेगास एंड ऑब्वियसली इट्स एन काइंड ऑफ मेटाप्लाशिया इट इज अगेन द ट्रू स्टेटमेंट ट्रू स्टेटमेंट सो ऑनली फॉल्स स्टेटमेंट इज इन हियर इज द पिप्टिकल सर सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी योर आंसर ओके 